I'm Father Dennis Quint, pastor coordinator at Beckman Catholic High School. I serve as pastor of Catholics in Worthington, Earlville, and Dyersville, also assisting in our cluster parishes at New Vienna and Petersburg, and I've been struck by the strong Catholic identity of our school. I've had the opportunity to minister to young people in Catholic high schools in Cedar Rapids and Dubuque and Waterloo, and I can tell you without a doubt that the education and formation that our young people receive in their Catholic faith here at Beckman is top shelf. My name is Pat Mead and I am honored to serve as principal of Beckman Catholic High School. This is my sixth year in this position. We've got something very exciting going with this capital campaign that we are proposing. The thing that it does is it ties the past of Beckman Catholic to the present and looks into the future. We have to seek to make a difference in the lives of our young people in these formative years. As they sit in our classrooms and walk our hallways each day, we have a unique opportunity to infuse our values and our morals into their hearts and into their minds. Although I as priest cannot spend as much time in these classrooms as I would like, I am confident that these people, these faculty members, are doing a wonderful job of handing on our Catholic faith. What better place to invest ourselves, our time, our talent, and our treasure than into Catholic education, especially here at Beckman Catholic. Nothing would say more that the future of Catholic education at Beckman Catholic High School is going to be sustained than having a large endowment in place. So we, we are looking at that as our number one motivation in this capital campaign. It's critical for us to establish a substantial endowment so that we can leave the principal amount of those funds stable and we can take the interest that is earned off of those funds so that the trailblazer spirit will continue to endure for many, many generations. Very proud to be part of this, this mission that we're on, but also we, when we look back into our past, the history, the things that people have done to first initiate Beckman Catholic High School and then to keep it going. They left us a fantastic building here. The, the structure itself is still very sound and it's in good shape, but it is 50 years old and it could use some renovations. The flooring, some of the plumbing, the roof, the locker rooms and restrooms all show about 50 years of existence here and they're in, they're in need of being improved. Lastly, one of the most exciting parts of this capital campaign is new additions to the building. We're looking to improve our security up front by moving some office space up there Probably most exciting though is, is the prospect of adding a new chapel at the very beginning of the building. Doing this for a couple of reasons. One is that we want to make sure that anybody who enters this place that they know right now and then that they are in a Catholic setting. And I think that's so important. And also offering 24-7 adoration. We already do that on Tuesdays throughout the course of the day, but we think it's possible to do it 24-7 here at Beckman. When people enter this building, they will know that they are in a Catholic atmosphere. Also included in this would be a multi-purpose room. We have a number of needs for this right now. It's amazing how something like this could help our academic day. We have kids that come to practice as early as 5.30 in the mornings and sometimes stay until 9 or 10 o'clock at night. You might not realize this, but it weighs heavily on the kids during the course of this, their academic day. But also we have a number of classrooms that look for space to go. Sometimes our physics classes are looking for a gym size area to go to, to with some of their experiments. Also. This is kind of a community area. There are a number of people who come to use this, this facility, mostly the gymnasium after hours. And we'd like to have a place in which we could expand that. Also, we think it opens the door to a number of people who say, hey, this is my place. Beckman Catholic is where I want to go to school at. And we would look forward to, to making that available to them also. We know that by meeting these goals of increasing the endowment and updating our facilities, We'll continue to have a first class opportunity for formation right here in rural Iowa. Part of our journey in this world is to see what we can do to help others. I believe this, that Beckman Catholic has an impact on the world. Certainly it impacts our students and it impacts our families on a daily basis. But eventually those students go forth and they pronounce the word of God. They go forth and live their lives a certain way. And I think Beckman Catholic helps families form that in such a positive way. On behalf of Father O'Connor and Father Dean and the other priests who serve in our system, the students that are served in this wide area from Guttenberg down to Temple Hill, from Manchester over to Piasta, 
And from Rickardsville down to Worthington, I thank you for your kindness and for your generosity and, and hearing our call and praying over it and helping us to continue to move blazing forward. Anytime I walk into any of the schools around this area, any of the churches, I am in awe. What did these people give up? What did they do to make this all possible? And I feel a need to be part of that. I hope you do too. I hope your belief in, in Beckman Catholic and in the Catholic faith is, is something that will instill into you a, a feeling that I need to do my part now. I want to be part of this. So right now, we're asking you to be part of this, to keep moving forward, to keep Beckman Catholic vibrant, to keep it a place in which young people can come and become all they can be, and in their faith, and to take that forward into the world. Thank you once again. God bless.